Tonight it's the WBA World Featherweight title at stake, the Nine Stone Championship of the World. And the possibility of Ireland's Barry McGuigan becoming the new champion has brought 25,000 people here, with getting on for half that number, making the trip across the Irish Sea. They simply descended. It was like a horde of soldier ants coming from all directions on the Loftus Road. The town was empty. Everybody was watching McGuigan that night. I probably remember the excitement more from everybody else in the living room, crowding around the TV uh, to see Barry win that world title. 19 million people watched it. They could feel the atmosphere building and building, and it was really, really, really noisy. It took us 12 minutes to get from the dugout to the ring. And in the meantime, Pedroza came out and almost got, got to the ring before me. It's Scarlet. He looked like he was carved out of rock and there wasn't a single expression on his face at all. He'd been champion of the world at that division for 11 years. Danny Boy was such a, an emotional song. My father was singing it too, and 27,000 people singing it back. But there was quite a few people out there inebriated in the crowd. He was giving me the death stare before the fight. I remember my brother sort of banged the ring cam and says, Barry, Barry, and I said, what? When you and my dad sing Danny Boy, he says, he's staring at you. Give him this stare back. So I sort of, it helped me to keep my focus, you know. He was a beautiful mover, very clever. We won the first three rounds, just box the ears on. They break off at the end of a scintillating round. Fast. Then in the seventh round, that was where it all changed. McGuigan boxed out of the socks when he put the guy down. It wasn't that left hand of his. My brother and I had worked on this right hand where we'd throw right hands to the body, deliberately throw, so he would block it with the left hand and then he would counter me. Three times in a row and then show it the next time. Halfway through the punch, I would change it to the head. We're going to work not been so effective in this round. He hasn't found the range. Yes, he did. He's got him with the right. Oh. The champion's over in the seventh. He found him with the right. That was it. Hurt him again in the ninth. Good right. Come on, look at him. He's back to God. Hurt him again in the 13th. Good right. He's found him with the right again. He was a great champion. He just, he just wouldn't let me. He wouldn't let me finish him. And McGregor has put on a show here, which has raised British boxing to almost unprecedented heights. At the end of the 15 rounds, the referee and the two judges gave the McGregor by big, big margins, and the place erupted. Barry McGuigan! McGuigan is one of them. McGuigan is the champion of the world. They've all voted for him. And all 25,000 people in the stadium had already voted for him. Pedroza was one of the legends of the sport, and for McGuigan to beat him showed that he was truly, truly world class.